What's up guys, welcome to Ben Isaac Guy. What I have for you guys today is another app review from the App Store. It's called Google Translate. If you guys don't know what Google Translate is, it's basically an application where it can translate your words into a different language. For example, if you guys speak English, your words will be translated into Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, or Taiwanese, any language that this app supports, which I don't even know if some of these languages I mentioned even works on here. <laughs> I didn't memorize it, but if you guys download this in the App Store and look at the info, it will tell you what languages this supports. So let's open up the application right here. And this is a free download from the App Store. Okay, so let's look at your user interface right here. So you have three tabs down here. You have your home, your start, and your settings. Start is basically all the words that you saved. It, you felt that those are the most important ones and settings you can basically just change your settings around you know you can change it to which language you want or which voice you wanted to have so as you can see i have my set to english to chinese in simplified form and i can tap this button right here and then i can select a language that i can speak it to and then it'll translate it into another language and this is your reverse button so you can have those reverse so you can speak in chinese in this case, that's how I have it set as, and then it'll translate to English, and then set it back. Now it's English to Chinese, and of course, same deal, you tap this tab right here to select your different language. And, of course, you can actually type in the words that you want translated as well, if you don't want to talk to it. So, let's cancel. Now, let's look at the settings right here. So, we have our help settings right here which it basically just gives you all the instructions that you can do with this app, you know, how uh, you can use it, which is pretty much very simple. Although, if you want more information, you could look in here. And there we go, this is what it looks like. And then you could just scroll down to uh, different topics that you want. So let's go back here. We have about, which basically just shows you all the terms and service, uh, privacy, legal notices. It's basically the agreements that you're making here. Um, voice settings. Now you can have your English input to be the US, UK, South Africa, India, Canada, or Australia. And in this case, I have Chinese right here, so I can have it set to Mandarin Chinese. In this case, that's how I have it right here. So you have your Spanish variant. So you have Argentina, Latin America, Mexico, and Spain. So let's go back. And of course, you can clear your translation all history. All the words so that are saved into your history, you can clear those as well. So let's go back to our home here. And now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try out by just typing in the text. So I'm going to say hello. And as you can see, it shows you how you can say it. And of course, here's the word that I typed in right here. Now, you can start this. And you click this one right here. You can zoom in. And rotate it into landscape and push this button right here to zoom out of it and of course if you guys see this little button right here that's your voice button so that way it'll speak to you so let's click on it Ni hao. as you can see it's it said in Chinese Ni hao. let's try on another one right here we'll type in good morning And let's try it again. Zhao An. And let's try saying goodbye. Okay. Alright, that's enough with the text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the translation history right here. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing this for testing purposes. And now. I'm going to click on the voice button and talk to it. What day is today? Okay. How much are the plane tickets to Beijing, China? Where can I find you? Wo 
So as you can see, this application does work and it does translate your words into a different language if you're in taking some Spanish class, French, Latin, Italian, doesn't matter uh, which class you take because the language, they will be, will be translated in that certain language. So let's say this was an important one that I need to remember. I'm just going to click the start button right here. And if I go to my start tab, you can see that I can find it right here and I can just tap on it and then I can do whatever I want, you know, zoom in, turn into a landscape, zoom out, and then play the voice again, which, uh, which is pretty cool. And to delete it, I can always just swipe to the right and hit delete. Or if I didn't have that start already, or if I had that start already, I'm sorry, and I was on this page, I could just click on the start button to unstar it. Um, this is helpful for those that are traveling to a different country and you must know how to say certain words because nobody will understand you if you just speak your primary language. Me personally, I do find this application very helpful because when I was little, I ended up going to a Chinese school that was taken in some college, but then I stopped in sixth grade because the classes were just horrible. Nobody wanted to work except for the girls. Not surprised by that. But it was so boring and I couldn't stand it anymore and I wanted to get out of it. I feel that this is a much better experience in learning Chinese than having to take those classes that I was in because they weren't very helpful and the teachers they just let everything go which is why I'm pretty sure if I need to say something or learn how to say something I will use this app right here. I will find some use for this somehow. If you guys like this video, make sure you, you click on that like button down below as well as subscribe for more videos like this. And what do you guys think about this application? Do you, was this helpful? Do you think you would use this more often? I'd like to see what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. For more updates, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ben guy. And I will see you guys in the next video.